Welcome back, everyone. We are live in the Bender Kitchen. We are here with personal chef Jamie Sidney. Mm. We're making a pretty unique recipe here. Something I don't think that we've ever done here on the show. We're cooking with bricks. <laughs> Not a brick oven, but bricks here in the kitchen. Bricks from your backyard, even. Yeah. All right. So, so you want to see? Let's yeah, do it. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Hey, what's the process? So the process is we're going to get our pan hot. Here, um, I've got it on hot. medium high, and it's it's hot. Could okay. be a little hotter. And we're going to put the olive oil in after it gets hot. Okay. Because you always want to heat your pan first. You don't want to put too much in because you've got chicken um, skin that's going to go down on the bottom and it'll get too smoky if okay. not. Um, we're going to season our uh, meat. And anytime you do a steak, fish, chicken, what you want to do is you want to hold your hand up high and kind of let the salt fall down. And you want to be able to see the salt on the meat. Okay. This is um, chicken under. Try it, Teresa. Under... Try it out. Try it out. <laughs> I think you're salted <laughs> fairly salt. nicely already. Is this too high? We're gonna like. You're really tall, so. <laughs> well done. Now I have it in it's my magic. hair. Okay. Um, and then you want to give it some good pepper. Um, this is also called uh, devil's chicken. It, this is an Italian dish, and it's called Ooh. devil's chicken because it's got some spice little in it. Pepper. Ah, little pepper. Okay. Salt, pepper. Okay. So what we're gonna do is put it skin side down. I got the bones taken out by a butcher. Okay. Um, and you always want to make sure to take the bones out because it's easier to cook. And we're just going to put this in the pan and um, while we're making a salsa verde, this is going to get nice and golden. Now and then we're going to finish it in the oven. Do, so. do you put the bricks on now? or when? Um, yeah, and we're going to do a little bit more salt. More salt. Even though we you have, have to hold your hand up a little bit salt. higher. There, I don't know what <laughs> and, a little bit of, and I like to put a little bit of fresh thyme on too. Um, and then we're going to pop these bricks down. Now, if you don't have a brick, you can use a cast iron. That and works. Just, it's just the pressure on it. And the reason why you want to put the pressure on it is so that the skin, um, some of the fat from the skin comes out and it gets this crispy golden brown layer. Got it. Okay, let's do salsa. Sure. Or you can put random props <laughs> from your kitchen on it like that. that I mean, that, that's kind of cute. I, Sweet. I have no idea. Okay. It's just hanging out over here. Um, okay, so we got the chicken under a brick. And let's yes. move over here. Let's make our salsa verde. Take it away. Okay. So um, okay. you see some fresh green herbs here. I always use fresh herbs. I do not use dried herbs unless um, I have tarragon, and that's about it. So basically, I don't know if you guys want to do this. Sure, put us to, to work. Okay, so can you please put this is chopped parsley. It's Italian. Are we putting it parsley. all in? Parsley. Dump it all in. Okay. Ryan, you want to do the chives? Sure. So we got chopped chives. Shallots. I chopped one shallot, which okay. is a French onion. It's a little bit more mild. You did all the hard part here. Chopping. I did. Yeah, I, I always made it nice yes. and easy. And um, and then you're gonna Ooh, put the capers, capers in. Nice. Um, and we want to give it a little hit of acid because it brings the flavor out. We definitely need salt and pepper in this. And Ryan, I think you're very good at salt. Oh yeah. So if you could, he's so you don't have to hold it up Sorry, that high. We're not doing more the bricks over there. Okay, here. Is that a good height, Teresa? Keep going. A little more. More, 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 more. more? Sure, that's okay. good. Okay. Beautiful. Okay. So and then oil. Tons okay. of oil. This is olive oil. I only use olive oil. Um, I don't really cook with many other oils, sometimes coconut oil. This does take a lot of oil because the herbs have to kind of let them all marinate. Soak in here. Yep. And then we have so some pepper. pepper. If you want to stir this, yes, that would be I will fabulous. Mix. Right, can I move your coffee out of feel, the way? Feel Do you free, mind? yes, yes. Or would you like to say? I don't think you want to put any of my coffee in there. That, that wouldn't be good. Um, how, how about over here? We, okay, so we, we over here. We have some fruits and as Teresa's mixing So it. salsa verde is done. And then um, I just kind of wanted to toss some arugula with some lemon juice. Mm -hmm. I thought it'd be nice to put this on the bottom of the on chicken. The of the chicken. And then I have yeah. blood oranges and navel wow, nice. oranges. which are. A lot of flavor in this Yeah, the great thing is, is. In the winter, you get all these great citrus. Well, and it's, it's spring now, you know, so we. Yes, well, well it doesn't seem day. like it, though, right? It is, yeah, yeah. A um, little salt, and then I need the olive oil, if you don't mind. Sure. Passing that over. A lot of olive oil. Yeah, you today, can put it in just, just a what? little bit. That's that? perfect. Thank you. Good. Um, and then we're going to toss this, and what's going to happen is I'm going to take our chicken out of the oven, and we're going to kind of put this down. And this is the, the finished this product. This is the finished right, product. It's the golden brown chicken. So so after you sear it, uh, how, how long do you put it in the oven for? Um, about 10, 15 minutes, depending on how big. These, this, oh, wow, these that chicken pieces, great. these breasts are a little bit larger than normal, um, So which is nice. And then what we're going to do is we're just kind of going to make a bed with the arugula, which is kind of pretty with the oranges. Just so it's not Check so plain. That. This is lovely. And then, and then we put the sauce on the side, or what? Yeah. 
Okay. And then I'm just going to put, I'm just going to, I'm going for it. Let her finish. Okay. 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 Well, I'm getting ahead of myself. Now I'm we're going to take the chicken okay. and we're going to put those pieces on top of this if that, if you want yeah, to do that. Much. Don't get it on your yes, you gotta For, be careful. I forgot that was just in the oven, you know, it's not the magic of TV today apparently. <laughs> it, uh, it's really cooked. Sometimes it's yeah, fake no, and no, sometimes no it's kidding. not. All right. Okay. And we'll and put this one on here just for fun. Beautiful. And then this is the salsa verde. Um, Nicely done, right? It's played really beautifully. Beautiful. Yeah. You did a great job. So. Oh, that goes on top. Yeah, oh, you put it on top or you can fancy. serve it on the side. Um, what a healthy lunch or dinner. Nice. Yeah, this is one of my favorites. I teach a lot of cooking classes, and this is one of my most popular ones besides the enchiladas, which I did last time. Because um, a lot of times people don't know how to cook chicken and meat and cereal. I always, it always ends cool. up being raw every time I try and cook chicken yeah. in the middle of it. And, and you know, I interesting, it back and I overcook it. Yeah, interesting fact is chicken does not cook after you take it out of the oven. Really? Like so beef does. Meat, beef yeah. does, but chicken doesn't. It just stops, so, yeah. yeah. Well, this is a cool technique. I'm sure uh, you guys at home are, are running out into your backyard right now to find some bricks to, <laughs> to cook with, so very neat technique. Thank you for sharing it with us. I like this. I feel like I want to make this for dinner tonight. Yeah. This is quick yeah. and easy. Or, or you can just take this plate home, you know? <laughs> make it nice and easy. Aluminum foil. All right, so uh, Alexander Hamilton's place on the